And now Transformers 4, the thing I want to get to the... Okay, here we go. It told us what who Mark Wahlberg is. It told us his daughter. It told us, you know, where they live. They live out in the middle of Texas. You know, they got... Mark Wahlberg's a dad. He's trying to afford his daughter's college. So he's taking old uh, junk trucks, taking out parts, making some money so she can go to college. And uh, they come across a Transformer. And... Now that Transformer, no spoilers because it, there's, this is a spoil. It's not really even a spoiler. It's just common sense. It's in the trailer. It's Optimus Prime. Uh, Optimus Prime is the Transformer that they come across, and this movie it told us supply. It told us everything that we need to know about the movie, and it's obviously about humans getting rid of the Transformers so they can live a human, a Transformer-free life. They don't want Transformers no more. They don't think they need their help. But then you obviously can see another threat has can't come in, and I don't think we got Megatron in this trailer. Uh, we have a lot of the dino bots, uh, dino bots for sure. Uh, Grimlock is one of them, I'll get to him in a minute. Uh, you have Bumblebee, you have a whole bunch of the Transformers, I think from the Dark of the Moon is still in here. Uh, but most of the Transformers are under, uh, you know, going undercover and stuff and hiding from the humans because the humans are taking them out one by one. And, uh, I don't know why, Michael Bay storyline obviously, I don't know why they're doing it. If they save the planet like three times, you would expect them to like not even think about getting rid of them uh, because we would have no more worries you know but hey you know Michael Bay uh, you got a lot of explosions so Michael Bay uh, you got now I'm gonna say this right now uh, Optimus Prime looks amazing in this movie uh, trailer uh, he looks stunning he looked like something I would see from the cartoons more 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 from the cartoons than I would have seen in you know the Dark of the Moon the Revenge of the Fallen and the original Transformers movie uh, hard to believe I actually kind of enjoyed uh, Dark of the Moon and I sort of enjoyed the first movie. I actually really enjoyed the first movie. It's a guilty pleasure. Uh, the Dark of the Moon is a guilty pleasure for me. Uh, this movie looks like it's going to overpass it. Hopefully it does, but I'm going to say this now. I can still see a Michael Bay storyline. I can still see a lot about you know Michael Bay in this. Uh, that's not saying he doesn't. he's not going to do the right thing and maybe bring something to this movie that we haven't seen. I'm just saying it looks like we have seen this before, and I don't like that. Uh, but the, the end scene in this trailer is worth the whole trailer for me. Uh, you, see, you have Optimus Prime and Grimlock. You can see one scene of uh, Grimlock running at Optimus, and uh, Optimus yells. He smacks him in the face, and Grimlock rolls over, and it looked... It, I felt like I was watching the cartoon for a minute. I felt like I'm going back to my childhood. I'm watching the cartoon, and there's Optimus going against Grimlock. The only thing I did not like is that uh, they made Grimlock will look very weak, and I did not like that. Uh, but who's to say when I see the movie, Grimlock could take the, I mean, rip the, sh you know, shit out of Optimus Prime? I just don't know. But from what I've seen, uh, I, I'm, in, I'm in more intrigued than I was, uh, I'm more impressed, and I am, uh, going to give this movie trailer a solid 3.6 out of 5. Uh, I can't get it up to a 4. Uh, there's still some things that I really want to see accomplished and done with this movie. Uh, from what I've seen, though, for this trailer, I liked it. I think you guys should check it out. I'm gonna leave the link down below. And